These ants have paralyzed this insect, and they did it by using a formidable weapon. They've injected formic acid into it. This is what we, uh, when an ant stings, this is what we causes the irritation in our skin. But what is formic acid? Well, formic acid is the simplest carboxylic acid, and today we're going to go over how we will name it with an IUPAC name. Okay, so the first thing we notice here is that we have this uh, distinctive functional group that has a carbon joined, uh, double bond joined to an oxygen and an OH group or hydroxy group coming off the side. Now what we do is we group this whole group together and it's called a carboxylic acid group. There's only one carbon in the chain, so this molecule is called meth anoic acid. So all carboxylic acids have that anoic acid on the end, methanoic acid. So as you can see on the shelf here, we have a, a bunch of jars that have pickled vegetables in them. The pickling happens when we add vinegar to it. Vinegar has the chemical acetic acid mixed with water. Acetic acid here has two carbons. Let's see if we can give it its systematic name, the IUPAC name. Okay, so we can see on the right-hand side here that we have a carboxylic acid functional group, this characteristic uh, carbon double bond oxygen, carbon oxygen, uh, sorry, carbon uh, OH bond. Uh, so this is going to have the end anoic acid to it. We can see that there are two carbons in the longest chain. So the IUPAC name for ethanoic acid, sorry, for acetic acid is ethanoic acid. Interesting fact when you go and exercise you sweat now in your sweat glands you actually produce a type of acid that is somewhat responsible for the uh, smell of body odor this acid w has three carbons and we can see here it has a carboxylic acid functional group a carbon with two oxygens and a hydrogen that is a carbon with a double bond oxygen connected to an OH group. So this is going to have the ending of the name anoic acid. And you can see that there are three carbons. So this molecule is going to be called propanoic acid. OK, so here we can see some butter. Um, there is a carboxylic acid that is actually usually found in butter, is also found in the vomit of babies when the milk has been uh, hydrolyzed by the acid in the baby's stomach, it comes up. Now, there's an actual smell that comes about from this acid, and it's quite pungent, and it smells a bit like vomit, and it's very uh, difficult to be around. Now, the name of this acid, the actual IUPAC name, is anoic acid because it has this C double bond OH group on the right, and it has four carbons, so it's going to be called butanoic acid. And notice that the name butanoic acid actually derived from where the acid was first found, in butter. Okay, so here is an interesting molecule. We can see the functional group on the right is a wee bit complex. It has a carbon with a double bond oxygen uh, coming off the top also joined to an OH or hydroxy group on the right. We take the whole functional group as a whole to classify. So this is going to be a carboxylic acid, and it's going to have the ending to the name of anoic acid. We can see in the longest chain here we have five carbons, which is pent. So we're going to call this molecule pentanoic acid. Okay, let's have a look at this interesting molecule here we can see that there are three carbons in the longest chain. There is a functional group on the right that is a, has a combination of a carbon double bond oxygen and a carbon joined to an OH. This is the carboxylic acid functional group. And if we look down at our table, we can see the end of this name will be anoic acid. We can also see that there is a branch or a substituent coming off, a methyl branch coming off the second carbon. And we can see that there are three carbons in the longest chain. So the main part of the name is uh, propanoic acid because it's carboxylic acid. And we have the CH3 coming off the second carbon. So it could be called 2 
methyl propanoic acid. However, we don't need the two because a methyl group can only come off the second carbon. Otherwise, it would be butanoic acid. So that... Okay, so if we look at this molecule, we can see a couple of features. There are four carbons in the longest chain. On the right-hand side, we have this uh, carboxylic acid functional group with the distinctive carbon double bond oxygen and the carbon OH joined in the same place off the same carbon. So this is an carboxylic acid. We're going to call it anoic acid. We also can see that we have a methyl group coming off the third carbon. So um, we are going to include that in our name as well. And there are four carbons in the longest chain. So this is going to be called butanoic acid. But once we put the uh, methyl group in the front, the full name is 3-methyl-butanoic acid. Note here that we always start numbering from the carboxylic acid group. Right, let's see if we can name this molecule. This is a carboxylic acid because it has the C double bond O and another OH coming off the same carbon functional group. Uh, it's going to have the end to its name anoic acid. There are four carbons in the longest chain. So it's going to be butanoic acid. And then we see that there are two methyl groups coming off the carbon to the second from the right. Now, when we number these methyl groups coming off, the ethanoic acid group, well, the carboxylic acid group, not ethanoic acid group, is given priority. So it always has the number one, and we number from there. So we go one, two, three. The two methyls are coming off the third carbon. So the name of this molecule is... 3,3-dimethyl-butanoic acid. Right, um, let's see if we can name this molecule. Uh, we, there's a wee bit happening here. Let's identify the functional group on the right. The carbon double bond oxygen uh, also has an OH joined to it. So in total, this is a carboxylic acid functional group. And if we look down at our table at the bottom, it's going to have the end anoic acid. There are four carbons in the longest chain, so it's going to be butanoic acid. We have two methyl groups coming off. Now, the carbons they come off are carbon number two and carbon number three, and we start numbering from the carboxylic acid side because it is the most important functional group. So the, in the end, the name here is going to be 2,3-dimethyl-butanoic acid. Okay, so here we have a kind of a, a long um, carboxylic acid. We can see it's a carboxylic acid because on the right here we have a carboxylic acid functional group with a carbon, a carbon double bond joined to an oxygen and also at the same time joined to an OH group. We can so, see also over on the left there is a chlorine atom joined to the leftmost carbon. Now, the chlorine atom is actually joined to the fifth carbon because we always number as priority the carboxylic acid as number one because it's always off the, the end or the first carbon. That means the chlorine will be coming off the fifth carbon. So this is going to be called pentanoic acid because there are five carbons in the longest chain and it is an anoic acid. But we are going to put the position of the chlorine at the front. So this is 5-chloropentanoic acid. Okay, this carboxylic acid looks kind of busy. Um, we can see it's carboxylic acid because on the right here, there is a carboxylic acid functional group, distinctive carbon double bond oxygen, and the carbon also has an OH joined to it. So we just highlight that whole region, carboxylic acid functional group. The name is going to have the ending anoic acid. There are three carbons in the longest chain, so this is going to be a propanoic acid, but we also have to identify the two branches or substituents that come off. They come off the second carbon. Um, we name, we number from the right-hand side because we number from the carboxylic acid group, the carbon. So we've got one, two. Uh, because there are two of them, their final name is going to be 2,2-dimethyl, propanoic acid.